Sergeant Jesse Pommen, United States Army, retired. Sergeant at Arms, United Veterans Council of Kent County, and will serve as your Master of Ceremonies. We are grateful to have the 126th Army Band under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer Kimberly Ferrante with us this evening. Will the guests please rise and military units come to attention for our national anthem. You are all invited to sing.
arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Freedom, with which we have been blessed as a nation. We remember the millions of men and women who have stepped forward to answer our nation's call, who have served in all the uniformed services of our nation, both in times of war and of peace. We also remember today those veterans and family members who still bear the scars of selfless service in our flung regions of the world. As wars continue throughout this world, we pray, friends, we pray for a peace that is just for all. May this nation always remain the land of the free and the home of the brave. Amen. 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 Guests, please be seated. Military units, come to parade rest. This play took place on the 11th hour of 11 November, 1918. In legislation that was passed in 1938, November 11 was de dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. As such, the new legal holiday honored World War I veterans. In 1954, with the country having endured both World War II and the Korean War, the 83rd Congress, at the urging of veteran service organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting the word veteran. With the enactment of this legislation on June 1, 1954, Michigan Veterans Home. In this role, he works to connect the generosity of the community and philanthropy to the important work of veterans' long-term care and ensures state and federal elected officials, as well as other key leaders, have connections to Michigan Home for Veterans' mission, impacts, strengths, and opportunities. The Vice President of Business Services for Michigan Veteran Homes, Administrator of Michigan Veteran Homes, DJ Jacob Eddy and Marquette, and as the Strategic Partnership Coordinator for the Michigan Veterans Affairs Agency. Before his time serving veterans and following active duty service, Ryan worked in a supply chain operation management for a Fortune 500 company from Grand Rapids State University. He's also a licensed nursing home administrator. In military service, Ryan served as an active duty infantry officer in the United States Marine Corps. During his time in uniform, his character matters. Uh, when I think of character, just like many of you, uh, I, I have many stories that come to mind, but one in particular is the story of a young man, a private first class in the Marine Corps uh, named Kyle Kutu. Kyle was from Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and uh, graduated high school, enlisted in the Marine Corps, uh, went to the School of Infantry, and right after graduating, uh, was assigned to our infantry battalion and uh, four months later was in Afghanistan uh, during the largest offensive of the war. His squad was on patrol uh, and took contact uh, from their, their left flank. And uh, as they were closing with the enemy, they, they huddled in a compound and then uh, started getting ready. To First section, A! Fire! Second section, A! Fire! Third section, A! Fire! Recover! Heart! Shoulder! Heart! Present! Heart!
Shoulder. Arch. Quarter. Arch. Parade. Rest. Mike goes like this. Thanks and praise for our days. Neat the sun, neat the stars, neat the sky. As we go, this we know. God is nigh. Would you, I invite you to pray with me. O oh Lord, we thank you for the precious heritage of liberty that we enjoy. We have remembered tonight those who have served for them always. Long may our land be bright with freedom's holy light. Protect us by your might, great God, our King. Amen. I want to say thank you on a personal note for so many of you for coming out and standing here in the cold. Uh, I know the weather is not bad for a November in Michigan, um, but nevertheless, it's nice to see so many people here today to respect those who have served and say thank you to our veterans. With that, I'm going to let you get out of the cold and have a good night. Thank you.